Hi, everyone. Okay, so now we're going to do an angle of depression word problem. Um, and this is problem number four on the 7.5 to 7.6 day three worksheet. Um, and the worksheet that you guys actually have um, is slightly different from the one that I have. We made a change to the problem. So as you can see, the change is written in blue. Um, so let me just read the problem to you and um, update your problem as um, needed. So you are standing on the top of a building when you spot a hermit crab with a 55 degree angle of depression, which is ca crawling on the street below. The hermit crab is 30 feet horizontally from the bottom of the building and your eye level height is five feet, how tall is the building? Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is draw the building. So here we are, not gonna be fancy, that's okay. Um, and you're standing on top of the building. And your eye height, this height here, is five feet. Okay. And then it says that you spot a hermit crab on the ground. So I'm just going to put a dot here because I can't draw a hermit crab. Um, and it says that you spot the hermit crab. Um, with a 55 degree angle of depression. So now I'm going to draw from my eyes to the hermit crab a dashed line. Okay. Um, and it says that the hermit crab is 30 feet horizontally from the building. So that would be this horizontal distance. Okay. So um, the way that we uh, label the angle of depression is we have to take where it's coming from so in this case it's coming straight from off of our eyes um, look at the horizon so I'm going to draw a dotted line to show the horizon and then the angle of depression goes down from the horizon and that would be 55 degrees so from the horizon down would be the angle of depression okay now we can assume that the building makes a right angle with the ground, all right? And it's asking us for the height of the building. So we're gonna label that X, because we're trying to find the height of the building. All right, so first thing that we need to think about is the fact that X is just the height of the building, but this entire height is gonna be actually more than X. So we're gonna label that Y, because that would be the height of the building plus your eye height, okay? So that's gonna be Y, this piece here is just gonna be X. All right, so now I'm gonna highlight the triangle that's made with the building and myself. Um, and notice that the 55 degree angle is not anywhere to be seen um, in the yellow triangle that we have here. So how can we figure out what these angle measures are inside the triangle in order to use right triangle trig? Well, if you guess that this angle here is also 55, you're absolutely right. And that's because the angle of depression from me looking down at the hermit crab is the same as the angle of elevation that the crab is looking back up at me. Okay, so these two angles are alternate interior angles, meaning they are congruent. Um, and that's because the horizon is parallel with the ground. So we have 55 degrees and 55 degrees. Now, another way to do this problem is to find this angle measure here. So in order to find this angle measure, you can subtract 55 from 90 and you get 35 degrees. So you can also use the fact that these two angles here and here are complementary angles, meaning they sum to 90 degrees. So it doesn't matter which angle you use. Um, I'm going to pick the 55, and I'm going to label my triangle based off of that. So the side opposite to the 55 is going to be Y. 
So I'm going to label y with o for opposite. The side adjacent is going to be the 30 feet, so that's a. So the first thing I'm going to do is solve for y, which is the entire height of the building plus the height of my eye level. So because I'm looking for opposite and I know adjacent, I want to use tangent. So I'm going to take the tangent of 55, set that equal to y over 30, which is the adjacent, cross multiply, and we get y is equal to 30 times the tangent of 55, which is approximately 42 point eight feet. Okay, so now we have to take that and subtract the five feet to find the height of the actual building. So height of the building which is x, that's going to equal um, y minus five. Okay, so it's going to be y minus the height um, of your eye level. So in this case, it's going to be 42.8 minus 5. So the total height of the building then is going to be 37.8 feet. Rounded to the nearest tenth. And we're done. Um, now also you could have used the 35 degrees here. So you could have circled the 35 and when you um, labeled your triangle, this would have been the opposite side, the 30, and this side would have been the adjacent side, but you would still get the same value when solving for y. Okay, and now we're really done.